Alright everybody, we have reached another level of Flight Simulator fun with Swiss 01 and on that note I'm gonna say Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video indeed. <laughs> what do we got here? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, welcome back to the flight simulator. We're here in Toronto. We can see the interesting airport of Toronto City right here, which we've already checked out in a previous video. Actually, this is an airport that, for example, does not allow any jets here. But that's obviously not the most important or most interesting thing in today's video, but because, um, this is... Yep, we've got finally an aircraft carrier that actually flies in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. A flying aircraft carrier. We have reached definitely a lot another level and actually what is more high level is that this is made out of lego it's it's it's, it's got legos on it which is like i'll take it all right <laughs> now this model here was actually developed and put into the flight simulator by a youtuber called buddy spikes and he's made this interesting project indeed i have zero idea what the idea behind this is but i can already tell how about making a flying a flying aircraft carrier is that a smart idea yeah no it's not really a smart idea is it <laughs> but welcome to the future guys we've got lego we've got microsoft uh, flight simulator fun. Maybe this is something interesting to check out. Maybe let's actually do some practical operation testing, right? We can fly some planes here, like this exact CJ4 from Cessna, right? Let's try to land that plane here. Okay, let's now go ahead and try to concentrate here. There we go. Get all that out, get the flaps down, get the landing gear down, and uh, land on this quite short aircraft carrier surface indeed. The thing is actually, this is called the heli carrier or something, because it is actually, it flies like a helicopter, as you can can see it has these four big propellers, four big rotors, is that what you call it? No idea. Whatever, we have these actually here that uh, keep the plane or the carrier, this is an aircraft carrier or float. The thing is though, it does not move, it just stays afloat, right? Which is a thing that a helicopter can do. We cannot do that as a plane. Maybe let's try and, and getting this plane landed here. All right, maybe we can do a smooth landing right here. Come on, can you do this plane? Great. Okay, not a smooth landing at all. At all. <laughs> Damn, that's been a hard one. And what we've, what we've actually done is stop. That is great. Okay, now we've stopped successfully on this aircraft carrier. And this is uh, Lego. Okay, what else is here? There's like another runway here as well on this aircraft carrier. Very interesting design here. But then let's try focusing on getting bigger planes in here too, which of course is the perfect opportunity to fly the Bande Rante here as well. All right, now, same aircraft carrier, different plane. As you can see, this is a little bit more old school right here. I like this, all right? Not bad. Let's maybe see if we can fly this plane or two. Uh, get the landing gear out and see if everything works. Yes, sir, it does. Let's now come in for a landing. Maybe we can make this a little smoother than the CR it's CJ4. Uh, this is a little interesting here. Okay, let's come in now. Do this touchdown. Come on. Touchdown. Oh, damn, that was a little bit of a late touchdown. But this is actually quite a bit longer, I think, than most aircraft carriers that actually exist in real life, you know? <laughs> You know, most aircraft carriers actually have like a length of 300 to 400 meters. I think this is a slightly longer. So we may or may not have a chance at operating some big planes here too. Now, let's actually just go ahead and try then flying a big plane here. How about a, an A320? <laughs> yeah. All right, A320, let's do this. Okay, looking good. Let's now come in. This is not going to work, right? Actually, the cool thing about this aircraft carrier, if I'm being honest, is that, you know, if you overrun, then, um, you know, you don't necessarily crash into water immediately. You crash into air, you know, you have a little bit of recovery. And let's come in. Oh, wow, that's been a hard landing. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Not good. Not good at all. All right, let's maybe try stopping. There we go. Reverse thrust. Full power, full power. The end of the aircraft carrier is coming near, everybody. The end of the aircraft carrier. Oh, this is going to get close. This is going to get close. All right, crash to the Lego sign, and um, we're off. Oh, time then for Operation uh, 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 Go Around. There we go. That's easily doable here, too. All right, great landing there. All right, let's maybe try this again. See, you know, touching down on this thing is actually not very easy because this runway isn't particularly long, but it is very wide, right? So you don't, it's, it's hard to get the dimensions right and, you know, to know when you actually touch down because you don't have any GPWS callouts because the plane literally thinks that we're still in midair at 10,000 feet. So there's uh, no way the plane thinks it's about to land. There we go. Yeah, that was a little bit of a better landing. At least no kind of, uh, you know, bounce or anything. Let's me try stopping right there. Come on. Stop! Didn't work either. All right, try number three. All right, let's now come in, try this again, get that landing gear out, and uh, see if we can land. Again, normally this runway should kind of work with the E320. I mean, we've landed it on shorter runways too. All right, there you go. All right, let's come in now. Come on, ah, stop. <sighs> Stupid plane, holy moly. All right, great, 50 knots. I think now we're finally stopping. That only took like three tries, but that's not that big of an issue again, because we, if we overrun, we just, you know, try again, that's no problem. I mean, we do crash into some Lego, but that's okay. 
Oh, damn. So maybe try a bigger plane, then. I mean, I have an idea. Y'all remember the C-17 that came out, like, a few weeks ago? Finally, a military plane. Let's try this one. All right, C-17, let's do this. Big, fat plane, but we've got not that big of a runway ahead. So maybe we'll uh, see if this is gonna work. Let me just try my best to get this plane stopped. By the way, let's just ignore, as always, the fact that this C-17 plane has a 747 cockpit. You know, just, just a normal Microsoft flight, similar to 2020 stuff. I mean, you know, we're kind of landing on an aircraft carrier that's itself an aircraft. Does that make sense? Nah, that doesn't really make sense, does it? So we should probably not complain about the cockpit being a 747. All right, let's come in for a landing right here. See if we can do this. Maybe try using most of this <laughs> runway here. <laughs> come on. A landing. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, apparently this thing was so hard that we crashed through the ground. Another new thing. Alright, coming down. Alright, smoother landing now. Let's go and stop. Stop! I, I, please stop! I, I don't want to fail again, please! Ah, uh, we just crashed through ground. I mean, this is better now. Okay, there we go. We have stopped now, literally uh, three meters before the actual Lego stopper. So this thing is kind of like the final boss, I would guess? Yeah, I think so. All right, then, uh, 747, after 10 minutes of loading this flight simulator up again, we'll come back to professional flying with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, okay, we've got our aircraft carrier ahead again. Let's see how this is gonna work. We've got to land, I guess, the 747. Well, apparently, actually, this runway is longer than you might imagine. This whole ship is basically extremely large, uh, which is actually great, because now we can land really big planes here, right? Okay, let's uh, see if we can uh, get this plane landed here. We're still a little over speed, but this is looking okay. Looking good. Let's come down. Can we do this? Let's find out. Oh help. Oh Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh, that's been a landing. That's been a that's been a hard one. We just bounced completely. Damn. Okay, time for another try. You know, just really the sheer size of this airport is crazy. Here we go. It's just a little hard to touch down on point right there. With this runway. Oh. Too hard of a touchdown, huh? You see, this is the thing about using an aircraft as an aircraft carrier. You can't really land too hard, because otherwise you'll uh, crash the everything. And this actually has become one of the most challenging videos on the channel. It's uh, impossible to land. It's just my weird piloting skills. All right, let's try this here. Uh, especially with a big plane like this, it's really not fun. All right. Too hard. All right, come on. Uh, all right, very soft, very soft landing. Come on. Touchdown twice again, great. All right, 130 knots. We're now slowing down a little bit. I think maybe this is gonna gonna work Or not. So yeah, this has been one of the most interesting models ever for the flight simulator I'm I'm guessing is this concept however realistic though. Would it ever be a thing in real life? Of course not and so yeah, I don't know so yeah guys Thank you so much for watching today's video again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Deload, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, Larry Dislama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Signs, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.